to. Uh, you can't do that. I have to report you to the front. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I am here at this estate sale, and we're gonna see what we can find here in the Villages, Florida. Looks like there's a golf cart over here for 6,500, a 2018 electric golf cart. That's pretty cool. Y you know, you can get some pretty good deals for these things here at the estate sales. Otherwise, they're pretty expensive if you buy them new. As is $2 for a little solar light hanging there, then you can get the other ones too. $18 hummingbird. Let's head on inside. See what we can do here. There's this large planter, 250 for this large planter here. It's pretty blue glaze. This rug is 30 that we're walking on, this big one. $18 for this nice drinkware set here. This is a nice living room. Look at this. So here we have some, this is uranium glass. It's $15 for the juicer. And then there's this cake plate here for $15. That's really nice. So this is depression green uranium glass. This one here is $8. I'm not sure if that's gonna glow. This looks a little too modern to glow. Otherwise, the yellow color is generally referred to as Vaseline glass if it's the depression era. Here's this piece here of the depression glass, $7.50 for this cake plate. And then we have, what is this now? Two piece for $10, and this is Temptations. And then they also have more Temptations here, $30 for this set. It's pretty cool. And they have even more of the Temptations on this, this side. Oh, this counter's nice. I like that countertop. Here's more of the kitchen over here. Yeah, it's really good. They got under cabinet lighting too. That's neat. I should do something like that. That's pretty cool. You don't want to lose track of your feet. Cracker bear. Oh my goodness. And then there's a pod holder. Teapot for 10. This looks to be newer just by looking at it. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, is it cast iron? Yeah, it's cast iron. That's almost more than one left hand can take. Good cook. That's not me. Dollar Corel. There's one of these Campbell Kids mugs. Eight dollars for this one. Westwood, 1993 for the Campbell Soup mug. And they also have this one here. Now, this is three dollars, and there's about I think four of them in the set. They've got chicken soup, onion soup, tomato soup, I believe, and then one more kind of a soup, French onion or something but it's a set of mugs. They're like soup mugs. Oh, I just bought some of these in another video. I do not need any more of these darn things. Here's the living room over here. That's a really cool chair, 300. It says stressless. That's what I want to feel like. Yeah. Is it a swivel mabobber? It looks like it might swivel. And they have a big entertainment center there. And then a rug down here, this floral rug. 195 on this love seat here. And this one is 125. Oh, let's look at the jewels. Let's look at the jewels. Yes. Jewelry. So they have lots of brooches brooches here. This little ship is four dollars. That's kind of neat. That sailboat. It's a lovely brooch. Butterflies, pumpkins, dolphins. This art glass here, pretty art glass, bracelets, rings, I'm looking for anything that's going to jump out at me, but I'm not seeing anything. Sailboat earrings, polar bear earrings, those are nice. What is this? Just a lot of metal. Caesar's Palace. Oh, here's a here's a cloisonne whistle for fifteen dollars. Cloisonne is interesting. I've talked about it many times, but it's just this enameled metal piece. So it has all this wire here. That's what the the gold part is. Oh, it's not. It's blurry. There. So you have all of this metal here that's separating the individual sections and then they go back in with the enamel paint and fill those colored those sections up so that's nice 15 for that one all right the fireplace is 125 
Let's go out here on the lanai. Looks like a nice one. Oh yes, 25 for this rug. That doesn't seem too bad. And this huge one for 50 and 70 on that one. I've got all these necklaces here. This is a little heart. It's like a little heart. Okay. Those. I don't know. There's a lot of jewelry. I wish I could buy something. I'm just not. Just, I gotta, I gotta have some sort of feeling about it. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at this one with the mother of pearl. Okay, you're yeah, we got it. So, I like the, oh, this tree of life. Oh, that's pretty. How much? Three dollars. Oh, it's three. Oh, I'll get that. That's pretty, isn't it? For three. This one is lovely too. This with the mother of pearl inlay in there. Uh -huh. It looks to be the same manufacturer based on the back here. See how it like has that texture on the back? And then this one and then the color of it. It's lightweight too. So I'm just gonna get this one for three dollars that I've got. It's two dollars each and less price individually, which um, I think everything is priced individually. <laughs> yeah, most of this is crystal, and some of it is just pressed pattern glass. This is there's some there's some lead content in that too, and depending on how much lead content, it's going to be more vibrant and clear and heavy. This one is not. This is just uh, pattern glass. It's probably EAPG at that, but it's not. There's no lead in this one. It's footed. Okay. Yeah, there's more of the dishes there. And they have the Disney mugs, the little collectible mugs from McDonald's. I had those, those tumblers when I was younger. 30 for the set on those. Okay, so let's take a look here at this bedroom. We got the big bed there. Nice jewelry, wardrobe. Hey, there's a duck in a bar of soap. That seems weird. Scrub-a-dub-dub -dub with my duck. This is a nice bathroom. Look at this one. You can walk right in. Oh, wow. Just needs like a TV or something. They've got this little trinket guy here for seven made in China. This big glass lamp for 30. The shelf is 35. Picture there, 20. This mission style piece, 85 for the TV stand. Got that one, 25. 30 for the art. This mirror is kind of neat. Look at the little squiggles. Squiggles. $12 and it has a chipped edge. And lots of words on a sign. So if you're ever just like, oh, I could really go for some light reading. I've never really talked about how much I love ceilings before. <laughs> no, but the, it's really pretty because you have the lights up in here. So if you're like in the bed, looking up, pondering life, you can see how great your ceiling looks and appreciate it. And the smoke detector is nice too. It's good to have that. Let's check out the garage. Oh, and the cleaning things. <gasps> I was just, I love Swiffers. $2. I have so many of them though. It's getting out of hand. Swiffers again, two bucks. That's like a quarter of the price I believe. Oh, they got the wet ones too. Eh. I don't think I will. Are those diapers? No, 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 they're not diapers. We'll get this. They have so many cloths. Well, they have a lot of floors, so they need to have a lot of cloths. I have a lot of floor in my house, too. Fun fact. Oh, they have more of these cleaning things. I mean, I never understand why you need so many. Do you have a lot of people helping you clean your house? You really just need one of each, don't you? You invite your friends over and you're like, let's all pick a room and go wild. Actually, I'm a fan of cookie cutters like this, where they're the translucent kind. It says made in USA on them, $1.50. It's a bag of them. I like these. You know why? Because you can hang these on like a tree or something as little ornaments because they're kind of translucent. So if you have like an aluminum tree, they look really cool on there. I'll get those for $1.50. I think that's a fun thing to do. Wait a minute, what's under this bowl? Oh, 
Those are wax flower things. Oh, there's picture frames on the floor. Let's look at, let's look. Sometimes you can find some, sometimes you can find some really good frames in here. Much cheaper than buying them new, of course. But I'm always looking for the old, old ones. Eh, there's a lot of newer ones here. Even this one that's kind of made to look older is new. You can see it says made in China there. Okay. Oh, I love my little things I've got. Oh, they actually have some blow molds back here in the corner, these candlesticks. They have $15 each on the blow mold candlesticks. Those are really popular. Although the ones that are most popular say Noel down the side of them. So those are basically just red and yellow and a little worn on top. All right, there's another one of those rugs. They're, they're nice rugs. Like I said, they value their floors around here. Yes, this is all the tile stuff. It looks like wood. <gasps> the fabric department. They have towels here with fish. All these other ones. Eh, I mean, there's not, no, there's not really much vintage going on over here. It's a lot of newer stuff. And that's not what I want at all. Let's look over this. So they got rugs, yarn, pillows. Oh, I like, I kind of like the watercolor. <gasps> Do I like that? I kind of like it. I kind of like these pillows, don't you think? I don't know where they've been though. I don't know, I probably won't do that. I don't want to be that weird. Okay, so we didn't find any great things in the fabric department. Those two rooms are closed. Ah, there's this room over here, this office. So they've got this shelf here and they got that. It says, you quack me up. There's a framed art of leaves. There's that one, there's that one. Lamps. That's kind of strange. 50 cents for like that many cards. I don't know about that. What is this? It's a bag of plastic things. Neat. Little peg game. You could pretend you're at Cracker Barrel. Okay, I guess we're going to check out. I don't really see anything else I've got to get. Whoops. So, we'll check out and call it a call it a day. Oh, <gasps> In VHS. Oh, Euclid Beach. Two. Uh, you can't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to report, I have to report you to the front people. <laughs> All right, estate sale number two. Let's head on inside this house here. Now this one might have a couple lithographic prints. I don't know if they're still here or not. One of them is really interesting and I hope we get to see it because I haven't really seen it before. Let's check it out. Oh, here it is. This is the one, $100, Maxfield Pierce. This one here is 60, a Maxfield Parish. That's beautiful as well. I haven't seen that one before. I don't even own a Maxfield Parish. Okay, I'm gonna put this one back. I think that's a bit high, obviously. I mean, $100, I couldn't be sure, but I looked on Worth Point to figure out if I wanted to go ahead and do it or not. But it's, it's very cool. There's a lot of good stuff to look at here. They have this Dragonware for $5. Well, there's a crab. There's this um, jellyfish for 10 fish yeah a lot of nice blown oh the little little bird oh oh it has a chip it says a dollar where's the chip ah right on the beak very commonplace on those beaks i like this dragon dragonfly they have ten dollars on it is that a scorpion no it's a dragonfly too i think there's these glass fish in here those are cool ten dollars on some of them Bone China, the deer, those are cool. $10 on the pair of deer. Oh, look over here. They've got lots of, tr there's trinket boxes. Here's a Dragonware mini cup and saucer for $5. That's cool. There's a cracked egg planter for $2. That one is just marked Bone China Taiwan on it. Little salt dish salt cellar type dish for three dollars here's some foo lions now these i want to say they look newer they look newer to me 
yeah, that pottery is newer. I would think these are made in China. And they do have a lead-based glaze on them, but I, I don't think they're that, um, I don't think they're that old at all. No. Just doesn't have, doesn't have the feel of, of the older stuff. This is blown glass, ah, that big conch shell. That is marked Campbell. This little pottery piece here. I guess it looks like a diffuser. Maybe you put string on there. It's five bucks. That doesn't seem too bad. And this tea set is cool as well. It is mm, Ritz China hand painted. Ritz China. That's nice. $50 for the set. They've got it written there too. All right, let's check out some of the bedrooms here. Oh yeah, there's art on this wall too. They have a cottage print. This one is 25 for that print. But there's a bedroom over here. There's this little hobbyist room it looks like. They've got these figures. All the mythical creatures. $20 for this fairy. Might be pewter. And then all of those, Kings of War, $500. Hmm. I don't know anything about that. That's very interesting. All these little creatures, $10, $12. Does he got this wizard? Is that Gandalf? That name just popped into my head. And it's, uh, this one is 10, no, is it 15? Ugh, this darn wind. Yeah, 15 for that wizard. There's some books over here. Aquarium pieces, five. It's newer stuff, Walmart. All right, here's a bag of sewn doilies. Put these on like your small tables and things and they're all hand done. They have $40 on, on this set. That is more than I would like to pay. Let's head back out this way. Now this is a neat little genie's lamp, $5. It has this kind of enamel paint on it. It's unique. Oh, the lid fell off. That's pretty cool. I don't know, maybe we should get that. It's, it's different. I think I will. Yeah, it's just one of those different kind of things. Oh, that's a nice piece. This one here, this yellow. 30 on this bowl it has the double handles on it. That's really pretty. I like that one. Ah, they have another big print up here on the wall. You can see. So you have the Maxfield Parish here for 500. Very pretty. A lot of the times with these prints, the colors will wash out. In this case, it's it, all the warmer tones are pretty much gone. And now it's this kind of cool blue and green tone color. But that's not really the way it was originally. But with the sun and everything and age, you, it loses its warmth. So now this is what it looks like. But we've got Maxfield Parish here. Um, and it's a nice large size with the wood frame. Framed gargoyles. Those are interesting. $8 each on the gargoyles. We're in one of the bedrooms now. They have this abacus here for $18. It's a Lotus brand abacus. And then there's this clock for $80. It's a nice one. It's a 30-day clock. These clocks come in 30 days, 7 days. They have the glass pieces here. That's really cool. $80 on that one. That doesn't seem too bad. Some of the crystals are missing. The drop pendant crystals. But it's a really interesting piece. And all the main glass pieces seem to be there with no problems these crystals are easy to find them actually there's a bag of them i just realized so you might have them all that's that's pretty cool i that's that's a neat one for 80 bucks i would say that's a deal got a lava lamp some other electronics here well so far all my best like the little aladdin thing hardbacks are four paperbacks are a dollar that's a cool window it's really pretty they have 300 on this one here. Nice. I like this color blue in the center here, this blue slag. 
that. I like that color. Those are pretty colors. They have these old photographs in here. That one's cool with the waterfall. That is so neat. August 1915. Seven Falls in South Cheyenne Canyon. That's neat. I like all the intricate detail on this frame. That's really nice. You've got these columns on each side of the each side of the frame. 125. That's really neat. So a frame like this is usually made of wood and then it has like a gesso material on top of it that makes up all of this detail. It's more cost effective than hand carving the wood to have all these details. So they would have been molded out of plaster and then applied. Okay, so I ended up just getting the one item here at this last sale. They do have a 50% off day, which some of that artwork could be great at 50% off, but I don't know. I did what I could do here, but we had a great time at the bare minimum. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.